morning everyone so I have been laying out these blankets so far and the only place it will fit is on my bed so you'll have to excuse the duvet so I have joined together all of these and then I have laid out the rest in their colour sequence so if you can see at the top there I'm only missing uh, three dark blue and one duck egg or robin's egg and then it's done. Well, I'll still need to join it all up, but you know, technicalities. You gonna say hello? No? Okay. Clear blue skies for once. trying to ignore everyone around me because I feel like a wally, aren't I? Mm. 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 Nisha's got a mouthful of sweets. I gave her fish for the tuck at the post office. If you don't know what tuck is, it's uh, penny sweets in England. Grow tuck shops. Um, yes, we've just been to the post office to do the orders. And now I'm going to go back home and have a nice hot cup of tea. You can join me for a cup of tea, Neve? She says yes. She is just here. <laughs> She's camera shy, which is fine. But yeah. <laughs> it's very cold today, but the sun is shining. Just crossing the road. Um, it's quite nice here. It's not too busy, is it, Neve? No. So, yes. So today I've got to get some more yarn soaking for dyeing later and I'm going to dye some merino fibre as well um, but I will show you that later on so I hope you're all having a nice morning on this Saturday morning and uh, yeah. see you later I recently discovered these and they're amazing. Vegan croissant. French bakers. La boulangerie. Langère. So if you're a vegan as well, try them. Really, really good. I have just put some of this on my croissant. Now I know you're supposed to cut them and put them in the middle, but I like it just on the bottom. It's delicious. So I've got my tea brewing. So I'm now going to have breakfast because I can't eat early in the day. It is now one minute to noon. So I will see you all later. So I am currently making mini skeins, or twisting up mini skeins ready for sock sets. So there will be one of these uh, 20 gram mini skeins in with. 100 grams of Marina and Island sock yarn. So I have got another, oh, just under 100 of these to do um, so that they are done, ready to be soaked when I do the next lot of sock yarn sets. Um, and I've realised you haven't actually seen me on camera for a couple of days. Um, it is currently, look at the time, uh, about 20 to 1 in the afternoon or lunchtime. Um, I, as I said to you earlier, I have been to the post office already to send out the orders that I had yesterday. Um, thank you everyone. Um, yeah, 10% of the orders, 10% of the, the money, of the profit from the orders um, between yesterday and Christmas Day, so including Christmas Day, um, is going to the Mind Charity, which is mental health charity, um, especially given what's going on with politics and the government and everything else. Um, I was really hoping the outcome would be different. I don't really want to go too much into it because I feel that, you know, my podcast should be light and fun, relaxing, etc. But 
I also believe that it's important to say my position. Um, I fall into one of the categories that is going to lose out um, and struggle even more, um, especially because my business is still young. You know, I don't get a massive income from it yet. Um, and until I do, I rely on, you know, my local authority for certain things. Um, so, you know, I'm very disappointed with the election results. Very disappointed. Um, but I know there are people worse off than me, you know. So, I am just trying to keep my chin up. And... Uh, not let it get to me too much. I'm quite lucky still with what I have. So, yeah, end of politics talk. So, um, I will be putting up um, a lot more yarns um, tomorrow, so Sunday, the 15th of December. I just had to check the calendar, I'm not even sure what day I'm on. Um, in the evening at 8 o'clock. Um, so yeah, go and have a look now what's there. And if you want some of the new stuff that I will be teasing today while it's drying, go and get it tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you all later folks. Bye. Hi everyone. I've just realised you don't want to see the reflection of my laptop while I'm scrolling through looking for a last minute Christmas present for Abby. Now, I have got her a few things for Christmas. But there's something I've been trying to get her for the last couple of years and I've not been able to find. Um, but I can't say what it is here because she tends to watch occasionally. Because um, she's supportive that way. But it's also a bit embarrassing having your partner watching your podcast. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just having a scroll through. Um, my day is pretty much over now for work work. Um, I finished dyeing what I wanted to dye today, um, which is some variegated speckled sock yarn sets with mini skeins that coordinate very nicely. Um, it took a lot longer than I thought, or than I planned. Uh, I... Uh, I'm dyeing yarn for about six hours today. Um, but it's good. I really enjoy it. It's just very tiring and very wet. <laughs> um, yeah, so Abby is getting takeaway for herself and me for dinner. Um, I can't eat takeaway because of my allergies. And also, I don't like KFC and things like that. They don't sit well on my body. Um... So I'm having, hopefully, some vegan ice cream with blackberry, yellow raspberry and apple crumble that I made with quinoa flour. Um, it's a bit of a naughty dinner, but it's Saturday night. I made them using fruit from our garden, um, a neighbour's apples, and so that's what I'm having for dinner. Um, at some point. I cooked the crumble, I made a batch of them back in, I want to say September, end of September. Um, I made about 12 crumbles and froze them. Um, and I thought, ooh, sounds nice, I'll have a crumble today. I uh, had a little bit last night, um, but I just wasn't in the mood for hot fruit. I'm having it tonight cold with ice cream and cold crumble is amazing. If you don't know what crumble is, um, to anyone that's in America, I don't know if you have fruit crumbles. It's basically flour, sugar, butter, or margarine, because I, I use soy margarine. Um, and then you mix it all up into a breadcrumb basically and you sprinkle it on top of your fruit or whatever. And you cook it in the oven and it's delicious. Um, but I add um, quinoa flour to mine for the extra bit of protein because I don't eat uh, meat or 
you know, things like that. So I need to get protein when I can. But anyway, the rest of this evening, um, hopefully watching a movie with Abby. Um, I like watching a movie on Saturday night. Um, I'm a bit tired. I'm trying desperately not to yawn. <laughs> um, and I would like to start a new sewing project. I'm not sure what it's going to be. But I need some creative time for me. Because I feel like, other than... Um, casting on that jumper this week I've not worked on anything for myself um, so yeah I want to do a bit of sewing I have lots of fabric that I can choose from I have some fabric I'm thinking I'm going to make a purple work, purple velvet jacket or a linen jacket I don't know yet um, I don't know I might make a blouse might make some trousers. We'll see. So yeah, um, I definitely want to start it tonight anyway. You know, cut out the pattern pieces, etc. So, um, sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, I really wasn't feeling very well. I felt very fluey. Um, my sinuses hurt, and I had a small nosebleed. So I was just, you know, um, body was tired. I couldn't get myself together yesterday um, but yeah today's a different day you know, it's evening now um, and I want to do some fun stuff so I will try and see you tomorrow tomorrow being Sunday which is vlogmas day 15 today's 14 um, we'll see I may take you on a walk I would like to take you on a walk and show you all the fields and things um, around where I live. I show you some of the nice views, but I'm not making any promises. It depends entirely on the weather and how cold it is and how windy it is and wet, and etc. So, yeah. Um, oh, I forgot to say, I am wearing my. Uh, it's called Find Your Fade Jumper. Is it the So Faded by Andrea Maori and Andrea Renee Nitz? And I love it. This was the first pattern of hers that I, that I knit. Um, it's amazing. I want to make one, another one for myself. And Neve would like one and Abba would like one. So I have another three to be making. Not all at once, obviously. Um, but they will get made. Um, Neve likes blues. So I'm going to stash dive for my personal stash behind here. And maybe put it with some shop yarns over here. Oh, I did complete all the squares. I did do that yesterday. I completed all the squares that I needed for the blanket. And I finished joining the other row. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. It's been a long day. I have my candle burning. Always have a candle burning. This candle holder was my Christmas present from Kira last year. Now, it's actually sort of a black glass. And black candle obviously and inside I have a fluorite bracelet if you're into crystals you'll know why that's there it really helps um, if you're not go look up the crystal definition for fluorite it's on Pinterest um, yeah I'm quite into my crystals really I have bracelets and uh, next to my bed I have a, a seashell with different crystals um, for different things. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a bit babbly because I'm tired. <laughs> so I will love you and leave you and see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys. <laughs>